Obi o copy. O copy reads O, O, O. O copy reads O, O, O. O copy reads O, O, O. Wake up, Obi Okapi! Wake up! Obi Okapi opened his eyes. Obi Okapi was in his snug little bed. Standing beside Obi Okapi's bed was Owen, Obi Okapi's big brother. It's time for breakfast, grinned Owen. The sun is shining. It's going to be a wonderful day. Obi Okapi scrambled out of bed and hurried to the kitchen. Good morning, said Papa Okapi as he gave Obi Okapi a big hug. Good morning, added Mama Okapi with a smile. Mama Okapi was setting bowls of oatmeal and cups of carrot cocoa on the table. Soon, it was time to eat. Obi Okapi watched his big brother Owen blow on his oatmeal. Obi Okapi was careful to blow on his oatmeal too. It was hot. After breakfast, Obi Okapi and Owen washed their hands and faces with soap. Both Okapis carefully combed their own hair. As soon as we do our chores, our jobs, said Owen, we may go outside and play. Let's hurry. Obi Okapi and Owen did their chores as fast as they could. Obi Okapi and Owen hung up their ropes. Obi Okapi and Owen made their beds. It wasn't long before everything was neat and clean. Now it was time to play. I'll race you to the jungle yard, cried Obi Okapi to Owen as he ran outside. Mama Okapi went outside too. She wanted to enjoy the outdoors as she saw. Obi Okapi and Owen watched as Papa Okapi began to mow the grass. Let's play in the sandbox, said Owen. Far away from the lawn mower, added Obi Okapi. Rum, rum. Obi Okapi pushed a big yellow dump truck in the sandbox. Rum, rum. Obi Okapi pushed loads of sand over to Owen. Clangety swish. Owen put the sand in his locomotive, the train. Yay! Obi Okapi cheered as Owen pushed the locomotive up a little hill. Obi Okapi and Owen were having fun playing with each other. The Okapi brothers were good friends. Rum, rum, swish, swish. Obi Okapi and Owen played and played in a sandbox. They did not notice Mama Okapi finish all her sewing. Obi Okapi and Owen did not see Papa Okapi put away the lawn mower. Papa Okapi and Mama Okapi walk toward the house. Owen and Obi Okapi, called Papa Okapi suddenly. Please come in now. Obi Okapi and Owen ran into the house. They were quick to obey. Papa and Mama Okapi were now sitting on the sofa, the couch. We have a special fun family secret to share said Papa Okapi softly. You must not share this secret with any friends or neighbors until a special day. We will tell you when that special day comes, Mama Okapi assured the wide-eyed little Okapis. 
On that special day, you may tell the secret to all our neighbors and friends. Papa Okapi looked into Obi Okapi's and Owen's big round eyes. A new baby Okapi will soon come to live in our home, whispered Papa Okapi joyfully. Obi Okapi and Owen jumped up and hopped around the room. Obi Okapi and Owen were overjoyed. A new baby, cried Obi Okapi. A little tiny Okapi for us to keep? Mama Okapi chuckled. <laughs> of course, we will keep our new baby. Our new baby will sleep in the tiny bed. Suddenly, Obi Okapi quit smiling. Obi Okapi quit jumping for joy. Obi Okapi began to think and think. A new baby to sleep in a tiny bed? But I am the only one who sleeps in that little bed. If that's where the baby will sleep, then I wonder where I will sleep. <laughs>